Dealing with shutters would help. Doing my best. This is a one shutter area where having all three people on the team would be good, but I don't want to leave Garrus all alone, so we'll have to deal with it somehow. Heal up. for me. Try to 
real man's weapon. Oh, come on. Finally got that. Ah, ripped them to shreds. Watch my back. I'll deal with Archangel. Moving out of line. The fire. It's a great I will in a minute. All right. Hmm. Tough bastards, but I've seen worse. And we took out Garm and his blood pack. This day just gets better and better. He was one tough son of a bitch. You fought with him before? Yeah, we tangled once. Caught him alone, none of his gang, to help him. I still couldn't take him out. I've never seen a Krogan regen that fast. He's a freak of nature. He just kept at it until his Vorcha showed up. It was close, but I had to let him go. Not this time. Only the Blue Suns are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. Tarek's got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on and... Get your head down! Damn it! I thought I took that... 
I fixed it, but not completely. I'm not sure of that. They're offloading troops. Watch your back, Jeff. Should do the trick. <laughs> Don't be a hero, Garrus. Ah. Garrus. Oh, you're going to pay now. Stars incoming. Am I even doing anything? Gained another level, extracted Archangel from Mercenary Siege and recruited him for the team. Unclear whether injury to Archangel will impair his ability to assist in the mission. Regardless, revelation of identity as Garrus Vicarian, useful in keeping Shepard comfortable. Vindicator Battle Rifle, probably never use. Some machine gun damage, tech damage, credits, element zero, and that's it. He'd better live. Of course he will, he's Garrus. Tough as nails. Commander, we 
We've done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard? <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there and no one will even notice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Some women find facial scars attractive. Mind you, most of those women are Krogan. <laughs> Frankly, I'm more worried about you, Cerberus Shepard. You remember those sick experiments they were doing? That's why I'm glad you're here, Garrus. If I'm walking into hell, I want someone I trust at my side. You realize this plan has me walking into hell, too. Hmm. Just like old times. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. That's good, he's up and going. That means we can go talk to him. Let's go see if we have any upgrades to work on. I bet we do! Come on! Why are you loading? Some machine gun damage. Tech damage. I'm going to take this time to reset fraps. Be right back. All right, I'm back. Well, let's talk to the crew. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, we'd like that, actually. Talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Work on genophage was more than just study. What was the special tasks group doing with the Krogan genophage? Study at first, as I said, but uncovered surprising data. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage, overcoming disease. Did the Krogan evolve, or did some of their scientists develop a treatment? Krogan scientists? <laughs> Never met Krogan scientists worthy of term. No, natural evolution. Krogan physiology incredibly durable. Organ redundancy, backup systems, cellular regeneration. Genophage, like any other natural hazard, Krogan evolved past it. Maybe they were just having a lucky year. Or fewer mercs left, meaning more Krogan were left to repopulate. Please, Shepard. Social environmental concerns accounted for. Not an undergraduate. Population spike caused by adaptation to genophage. No other possibility. The genophage was a terrible mistake. It nearly destroyed the Krogan and their culture. Now they have a chance to recover. Naive viewpoint. Krogan too dangerous to allow unchecked birth rate. Look at Krogan rebellions. Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians. Created new version of genophage. Released it onto Chanka, other Krogan-centric areas. Restabilized Krogan population. How did you distribute the modified genophage? Covert drops, hospitals, clan centers, water supplies. Very difficult. Few solarians onto Chanka. Team got caught a few times. Had to fight free. Messy. Better when things went as planned. How did your genophage modification work? Krogan evolution attached garbage genetic code to genophage attack sites. Modification created other areas for garbage code to connect. Left sites clean, capable, running smoothly. You never considered other options? Hundreds. Thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population, avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger, averted potential genocide or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy. 
Krogan included. If the Krogan are so dangerous, why not just sterilize them outright? Not a war criminal. Not a murderer. Genocide. Unnecessary. Krogan as a whole, violent, aggressive, still have outliers worth saving. Genophage modification protected galaxy allowed Krogan chance to survive. Everyone wins. Good for us, good for them. I doubt you've told many people about this, Morden. I appreciate you letting me know. Wanted you to know I'm willing to do what's necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for free time. Alrighty then. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. If you want, Commander. Cerberus has ranks, but it's not the Alliance. No rules about fraternization. Your boat, your call. You want to get friendly with everyone? That's your business. You sound hesitant, Jacob. Am I putting you on the spot? You're trying to. Sorry if I knee-jerked. Cerberus puts a lot of suspicion in your head. I like you, Shepard. So talk. And we'll see how it goes. Anyone waiting for you back home? Only child and no extended family. Never settled down. Didn't seem fair with this job. But you can't miss what you never had. You seem okay with taking a risk on me. Why? Soldiers like us know how important trust is to the crew. I'm not used to seeing it on a Cerberus ship. Definitely not from people they put in command. But you focus on more than the job. A threat this big, you can't just throw people at it blind. They need inspiration. Huh. There's a lot riding on this, but we can't give up everything. Not always a choice we get to make. Good to try, though. I gave it my best back in the Alliance. Got labeled a troublemaker. They were always on the lookout for disruptive types. Cerberus isn't any better. They just put more effort into hiding how much they spy on you. Let them watch. We're not hiding anything. Wouldn't matter if we were. It's not like they can reel us in. We're handling this, whether they like it or not. Anyway, I should get back to prep. Nice talking to you, Shepard. Let's do it again sometime. Alrighty then. Let's make sure Garrus has the right gun laid out. Yep, looks like it. No, you got the wrong one, Zaid. And I'm not a big fan of the arc projector, so we're gonna change that up. I'm gonna go back to the missile launcher. I played this in the other run of Mass Effect 2 that I did, and I really like this gun, so we're gonna go back to that for a while. Arc projector kinda sucks, by comparison. Alright. Let's go talk to Joker. Hadley, I heard about Ferris Fields. Any news on your brother? He's gone. They're all gone. But we'll get them back. Shepard and Lawson are on it. We'll get your brother back. And make sure the collectors pay for taking him. Opt. Hey, Commander, we got Garrus back. That's great, because he was totally my favorite. With that pole up his ass. <laughs> I assume everything's going well up here? It was, until the thing started questioning my every move. It won't let anything slide. You were deliberately falsifying maintenance reports, Mr. Moreau. Not falsifying, tweaking. I always round up on task times. It makes us look good when we come in under. Harmless self-promotion. Edie can ease off on that. Very well, Shepard. Yeah, go pout. I win. Joker. Right, right, no hard feelings. Good game. 
<laughs> what do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Zaid is like you, but takes checks. As long as it's not my money, we're good. No surprise, Morden acts superior to everyone, like he's got tenure at FU. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Now we gotta go to the private terminal, because we can change Garrus' appearance from his blown-up armor to a better one. Thanks to some DLC. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Of course I did. Um, Cerberus Command Request. Okay. Reports tell us you've been operating in the Omega Nebula. We'd like you to look into a situation on Lorig, a nearby planet in the Father system. Scan the planet for a base where we believe Eclipse Mercs are holding one of our operatives. You should be able to detect the operative's transmitter. Extract the operative. If the operative is beyond rescue, recover any relevant intel that the Eclipse may have collected. This is a very delicate matter, Shepard. We trust in your discretion. John Whitston. This is from the little kid that tried to sign up as a merc that we stopped. Hey, Aria gave me this address. I think I met you at Afterlife on Omega. You stopped me from joining up with those mercs who were trying to take out Archangel. Man, I was so ticked off at you. I got blind drunk that night, and it was a few days later before I got it together enough to check the news vids and saw that almost all of those mercs had gotten killed by Archangel. I don't know who you are or if you got out of there alive yourself, but thanks. I felt really stupid when I heard about the body count and how I could have been part of it. I'll make the most with what you did for me. That's good. Let me go Clint. Omega Clinic Desk. Commander, I wanted to thank you again for saving me from those Batarians. I thought I'd seen the worst of people's anger and fear at Dr. Solis's clinic. I had no idea how much anger his work was keeping in check. How bad it really was. If not for you, I'd be dead. Thank you. The clinic is doing well. You got rid of most of the plague, and I've been able to handle the rest without too much trouble. <clears throat> the Blue Suns keep offering to take over security for here. I keep the mechs powered on. I won't make the same mistake twice. Thanks, Daniel. That's good. And team status. Garrus. Have some fun new armor. Whoops. Oops, talk to Kelly. How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. He's been through a lot, not just physically. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, it will be all right. I've been through a lot too, Kelly. Some of your therapy sounds perfect right now. Someday we'll have to set aside some time and really talk. Anything else, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Take care. All right. Crew quarters. Talk to Garrus, Miranda. That'll probably be about it. I guess we could go talk to Zaid. He's not going to have a lot to say, though. He never really has a lot to say. Alright. I'm going to reset Fraps again just to make sure everything's going good. Be right back.